lucky you. Today is your side series with the band. So go ahead, grab that resistance band. Go ahead, put it around the knees, kind of right above the knees. And go ahead, tie me a nice tight bow so that your fiance can unwrap the perfect gift. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, it's fine. Um, let's tighten up that bow. Nice tight bow here. I did wear my sculpt bands because, you know, it's wedding season. So we're going to lay it down all the way on the side of our mat. So if you're on our hex mat, my elbow is going toward our number six. Now, in this position, hips are stacked, knees are slightly in front, those heels are slightly behind your booty. You're going to go ahead and nail those heels together and open that top knee. What you don't want to do is roll back. You want to keep that hip right there, nice and stacked. So actually, every time you lift that leg because of the resistance of the band, you're also going to feel that right oblique kind of light up. Can I get a hell yeah for multitasking? That was me answering my own question. All right, we're gonna stay right here. We're just warming it up. It's gonna get spicier in a second. So just take this time to enjoy uh, not being totally sore in that hip. <laughs> here we go. We're gonna go down, pulse, pulse, drop. Now, if you have a fit and flare dress, you know those mermaid dresses, anything that's gonna hug the booty nice and tight, these are the exercises. If you put your hand on that glute, on that double pulse, pulse, drop, pulse, pulse. You will feel that glute medius lighting up, doing all the things. Drop, pulse, pulse, drop. Okay, last few here. Now we're starting to feel that heat in the side of the hip. This is so good for refining those hips in, but also making sure that booty looks nice and good. Okay, last one. Pulse right here. We go down, extend it straight to the side. You're pressing against that band, getting that knee up first, then that toe extension straight down at your side. So you should see heel, knee, hip, shoulder, everything in one long line. Long leg. Feel those toes. Don't forget to point. I know we're going nice and slow and saucy today. Really feeling it. Okay, let's make that combination right here. We go down, rotate, down, extend, down, rotate. Oh my gosh. Sometimes moving slower is harder, especially with this band. You're going to feel that little bit of extra resistance. Now you can do this without the band. You can. I don't recommend it. It's really nice to have this little extra resistance. It's basically going to force your body to do all the right things, which, you know, I like that for you. I want that for you. Hold it at the top. Little baby kicks. Hold that knee up. Don't drop that leg. Hold those abs tight. Feeling that good stuff happening here? Baby kicks. Let it go. Hold it. For four, three, toe down, heel up, drop and lift. Now I'm positioning that toe down to make sure my hip is slightly forward, not falling back. Right, so flex that foot, drop that knee. Feeling that nice little crunch at the top with those abs. Keep it rocking. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it midair, hold and flex front to back, making that little U shape. Ooh, okay, this band is really uh, giving us hell here, but you know, it's the good kind. We can deal with this. Stabilize those hips as it comes front and back, really working those abs at the same time. I know, if I don't talk through it, I just think about all the things I have to do before this wedding, and we're not gonna go there. We're gonna keep it positive, positive, positive. Not about our to-do list today. Back and front, nice and easy here. Keep it rocking. All right, I have a fun game to play, kind of. <laughs> From here, go ahead, bend that knee to that elbow. I know we're working against that band, but it's fine. And then squeeze and press away. That arm is coming forward, that leg is going back. Use that waist to bring that knee back towards the elbow and reach. Take your time. Right here, speed it up. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Now using this band, it's gonna feel so much more difficult. You're really fighting against that resistance. So you're really getting abs 
arms, ass, all the good stuff. This is one of my favorite moves. Really refines that whole side. You're definitely gonna feel this. If you don't, write me a comment and I will help you figure it out. Last four, 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 three, last two, last one. Hold it here. Now, reach that right arm forward. Reach that right hip forward. You want to feel that glute. Now, if you're having a hard time feeling the glute, go ahead and flex that foot. Might be a little bit easier. Keep it going. Now, dropping that front arm, you're going to keep that leg going here. Do not stop. We are not stopping today. Hold it. We're going to drive that knee right to the elbow, then press it back. Right here. Let's go. Bring the knee in. Press back. In. Press back. So tightening up those abs as that knee just kisses that elbow. You want to flex that right foot to really feel that press in the glute as you go back. Last eight. Seven. Last six. Five. Breathe, my bride. Last three. Last two. Last one. Hold it back there. Baby kicks. Point that toe. Plant that heel of the hand down. You got this. Trust me. You definitely got this. We got this together. Okay, now release that hand from behind your head. This is where it's going to start to get fun. Push that body up onto that elbow. Relax that neck. Now from here, you're gonna plant that leg behind you. Open up that right arm. Open up those feet. Make sure that band is right over the tops of your knees. Bring it up. We're gonna pulse. Pulse right here. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five. Outer thigh, four, three, two, one. Bring it down on that hip. Rotate back to that kick. Pull that hip forward. Bring it back to that position. Hold it up. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five. Abs tight. Get that butt up. Last four. Three, two, and one. Drop that booty down. Rotate that hip. Press it back. Right back in. Press it up and hold it. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring it down and push it back. This is the last one, so make it good. Get that butt up a little bit higher. Hold it here. Last eight. Pressing into those outer thighs. Weight in the heels of your feet. Hold it here for four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring it down. Turn back. Press it back. Flex that foot. Lift and drop. This is your grand finale. Just keep going. We're going to finish this hip off strong. I love banded outer thighs. You feel them every time. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here. Little kicks. Let's wear it out. We do what we can when we can. This is one of those times. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh. Okay. She okay? Whew. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Regain your composure. Keep that band on. We're gonna go right away to that other side. Kind of do a cool break dancing move to your other side. You can just imagine at your wedding doing a little break dancing. I can totally see it. All right, let's bring it down. You're gonna bring your right elbow to your number three. Nailing those heels together. We're going right into those clams. Lifting up and down. We go up, drop. Ooh. Doesn't that left hip just feel ready to be hurt? Oh, she's so ready. Make sure those hips stay stacked. That hip isn't rolling back. We're just warming it up right here. Now remember, this top leg does not need to go too high. Right? I would sacrifice height for alignment. You just want to make sure that your alignment is right. Even if you can open it just like a little bit, that is way better than doing it wrong. Let's add that double pulse. We go. Pulse, pulse, drop. Pulse, pulse. I like to kind of put my hand on my booty, kind of where it's working. Somehow it just all feels worth it when I feel it or when you see it. Either way, right now we want to feel it. Feel that glute engage. Double pulse. I'm really getting the song. I like the song. Double hit. Okay, 
We're gonna press that leg to the side. Straight side, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder in one line, all the way back down. Let's press, drop. Seeing that nice long line of energy, feeling that energy go out that left toe. Maybe there's a little, little kick, a little cut off. Why not? Now you're gonna feel at the very top, those left obliques are gonna fire up. You need these to lift the leg, that's for sure. Last eight, seven, six, five. I love doing anything on the left side because I can always kind of see the ring. It's exciting, especially in these lights. It's just, it's doing its thing. Combination, right here. Up, drop, extension, down. Now remember, we talked about this. Sometimes going slow is 10 times harder than going fast. It's all right. I'm just going to savor it. Savor it. I love when people say to, like, oh, savor the wedding planning experience. I don't even understand that. There's nothing to savor. It's going so fast, so furious. You have to, like, do so many things. So I don't know if I'm savoring it, but at least we'll have bride body. It'll be immortalized in time, right? Drop, extension, drop. Up, drop, extension, drop. Last four. Ooh, okay, we're feeling that burn come alive. Last three. Press. Last two. Press. Last one. Hold it here, girl. Yeah, there you go. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Little baby kicks. Stick with me. Stick with me. Keep that leg up. You got it. Hold it. These are so hard, I know, especially with the band. That band is just pulling you down. You gotta fight against it. Just get that leg up. Hold it there. Okay, let's flex it. Bring it front, bring it back. You're drawing that little U shape. For I love you. Right? It's an awesome thing to get married. I really do think it is. It's so awesome that you wanna commit your life to someone. It's a big deal. Should not be taken lightly. I definitely don't take it lightly. You know, but it's during leg series like this that I start to really think about what we're doing here. <laughs> so much going on, it's so deep, so intimate, so lifelong. Little U shapes, we're almost there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Almost there. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right here. Bringing that knee whew, towards that elbow. Actually, I think we forgot this one. Hang on. Toe down, heel up. I knew it. I knew it. I almost left you high and dry on that one. We cannot forget this one. Remember, tip that top hip forward, toe down, heel up. Feeling those abs fire at the same time. So important. That's the good stuff. Focusing on that movement. Almost there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Right here, bring that knee in towards that elbow. Press that heel to the back. Bring it in and press. So you're planting that hand in front of you. You're targeting that knee right to that elbow getting that little kiss and then flexing that foot as you press that glute towards the back. I'm actually getting a killer ab workout here at the same time. If you really think about crunching your abs, just like you would normally do during your ab exercises, you get so much more out of these exercises. I really feel this around your waist, big time, big time, which is good stuff. Who needs a corset? You can have a living organic corset on your body all the time, it's good stuff. Last four. Last three, last two, last one. Hold it here, little pulses. Flex that foot, bring that body forward, leg behind you. Oh yeah, don't worry, we're gonna get to that waist one. I am not gonna forget that move. That's like my favorite move. Hold it here, feel that glute coming alive back there. It's almost gonna be as sore as that right side very soon. Last four, three, two, and one. Bring that knee and elbow together 90 degrees. Oh, make sure your band doesn't do that. If it does, just bring it back. Knee to the elbow, then stretch that arm forward, stretch that leg back. Bring it center. 
extension. Center, extend. Now a little hack, if your band is rolling like mine is, if you flatten it out, it will not roll. Now I don't want to stop because I want you to keep going. But if you kind of flatten her out, she'll stay in one spot. Pull, extension. Feeling that waist, so important that you turn your body as you come to the center so you can really make sure you're milking all the goodness out of this move. Whew. 90 degrees on that arm, 90 degrees on that leg. Really feel it. Oh yeah. Love getting that waist involved. It's my favorite thing. Last three, last two, last one. Hold that leg behind you, hold it here. Get that nice long diagonal line. Feel that energy all the way up that left side of the body. It feels so good. Keep it rocking. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Drop that left arm. Little baby kicks here. Okay, we're getting ready for our grand finale. So let's release that right arm. Get up onto that elbow. Keep those kicks going. Hold it, eight, seven, six, five, last four. Get those abs involved. You're gonna drop that leg behind you. Drop that leg behind you. Open up that left arm. Get ready to push those hips up. Hips are going straight up. Hold it here, seven, six, five, outer thigh. Three, two, and one. Slowly lower it down, twist that body around. Push that leg behind you, nice long extension. Bring it back, open that arm up. Press it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring that butt down. Open that arm back. Press that leg behind you. Okay, we're halfway there. Hold it up for eight, seven. Push that butt up even more. Weight in those heels. Last four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring it down. Bring that arm over. Shoot that leg behind you. Last time here, make it the best time. Get that hip up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring it down. Bring that body back around. Little baby kicks right here. Flick that little water droplet off that toe. Almost there. I know it. Now flex that foot. Little lifts. Let's maximize our work here. Want to feel that flex, feel that glute kind of coming alive behind us. We have so many other things to do. We cannot be worried about how we look, how we feel. We just have to be ready. We're brides. We just have to be ready. Feeling good, looking good, doing good. We're the center. Got to make sure we're coming correct. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, release it down. Go ahead, bang out that hip. Make sure we're feeling good. And go ahead, bring it up. Untie that band by pulling one side. Honestly, wearing these sculpt bands too really does an extra little number for those outer thighs. They give you a quick stretch, so let's take that band off. Goodbye, goodbye. Bring that left leg over, pull that body up. Feeling that stretch on that outer thigh, keeping that posture up. Left leg is around, you're gonna wrap your right arm around here, plant that left hand at the heel of the hand, base of your spine, exhale and twist that body. Oh, feels so good. Let's do a quick hip stretch, bring that right knee up, scooch your butt as close as you can towards that right heel. Gonna feel this nice, nice, nice stretch here. Oh, so good. Try to get an exhale. And let's take it other side. Left leg down, right leg, bring it over the top. Pull your body in. Nice long posture here. Wrap that right leg with the left arm. Bring that right hand to the base of your spine. Inhale up, exhale, look back a little further. And release it. Let's bring that left leg up. Push that booty up towards that left heel. 
and hold that stretch. Get that butt as close as you can to the heel to really increase that stretch. We did it. It's all we can do today. That was a tough one, I know. <laughs> This is the good stuff. So these are tried and true exercises. I know that these work because I've done them on myself for years. So I know that they are effective. So I hope you felt that today. Um, if not, you will definitely feel it tomorrow. So hope to see you then. Have a great rest of your day.